57 of the online dance movement and I have got a little bit of a tango going on in the background. Now we'll just turn it down slightly. Something I forgot to say on the five minute call is that I've made, ooh, I've made an executive decision that the online dance movement classes will only be Monday to Friday from now on because I need a little bit of time to recharge and I've got other things I need to do. So, hi Liesl, how are you? So it's just Monday to Friday and I'll break it up so that everybody gets a bit of what they need. We'll do the same thing, but I'll have the weekend off. And anyway, there's 56 classes in here already. So today I'll make 57. So if you really want to do one, there's plenty to choose from, aren't there? Okie doke, let's get going with a bit of a warm up. Lisa, would you like to come on camera? You don't have to. I'll, I'll offer to bring you on camera, but just let's see. Add, Liesl might want to come on. Your kids might be there, they might want to come on with you. If you don't want to come on by yourself, <laughs> this will be fun. I'll keep the tango music going. What's happening? I think she might have said no. Come on camera. I think the thing is, it's a bit impromptu, isn't it? You might not be dressed for it. <laughs> or you might. You're funny, Gina. <laughs> Really? <laughs> but you can come on camera, Liesl. I did press to add you, but I think you might have run away. Anyhow, let's do some movemonte. Oh, goodness me, these old bones. Oh, and this top, it shows I saw on the five minute call, I had a roll. Gorgeous. I thought, well, leave it there. It's natural. It's, it's meant to be like that. That's the way you are, Gina. Just leave it there. So I did for all the world to see. Just like that. Okay, let's sit up nice and tall. I'll just try and sort of punch this a little bit though. <laughs> okay, let's do some shoulder rolls. I'll turn it up a bit. I feel like I need a rose in my teeth. that'll inspire me. This one's Beneath the Moonlight. I think I choose, choose, to, I cho oh it's delicate. Let's do some arms. So now just reach up, down, reach down, and up, circle. Oh I'm going all creative. Down. Who's that? Oh, hi, Ornella. Creative. Now really reach. Reach both arms. Not with the shoulders. And down. Circle. One up. Down. Reach it down. Up. Down. Now big arms, look up, elbows down, this is not ballet arms necessarily is it? Look up with your upper body, this is a nice stretch, now let's reverse it, up, look up, look down, I 
it's a bit soft, isn't it? I turned it down. I forgot to turn it back up. Let's do that again. Can you feel that stretch in your upper back? down, shoulders falling down. That's good. All right. You know how I had a, had a headache yesterday? I'm sure that was eye strain. I was sitting on the computer too long and then I, I, I worked while I had a headache sitting in bed at a computer. So I've still slightly got a headache today. You know, that was really smart, wasn't it? So I need to have a little rest. Anyway, it's Friday night, it's always great on Friday night. So now I'm going to do some leg movements. And by the way, I'm fine. I'm not complaining, I'm absolutely fine and I'm loving doing this. Because I missed you all. Let's do some leg movements. But this is called our volunteers was. <laughs>
Lisa? Do you recognise this? Sort of movement. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I have to get my breath back. I hope you're puffed too, not just me. Anyway, let's now do, what will we do? I'll just play the music and that will tell me. Beseeched. Oh, that sounds heavy. Beseeched. <sighs> Beseeched. dramatic moment Val but you know you'd be right in there <laughs> because I love your dramatic ability when you're performing <laughs> you're the best all right now let's just see where are we going to concierge what is this sound <laughs> We did a real, we did a like a little marathon with the legs. I'm sure you'd love to go back over that. We're going to work on the feet now, I think. We'll just do the one that we've done before, which is point the feet, then bring the toes up in the point, pointed foot position, then flex the feet, holding the toes back still, point the feet, holding the toes back. We just keep doing that with the toes held back. <laughs> 
all the time. And then to finish, we just reach the toes out, then finish. And I better get going before the music will stop, won't it? So let me just, oh. No, we want concierge. Woo! Okay. Point. Toes up. Now rest the heel on the ground with the toes up. Point. Up. Point, keep your toes up. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Keeping the toes up all the time. Flex. Point. Other leg. Just start without the, the um, arms yet. Point the foot. Now bring the toes up. Flex. Point. Flex. Keep the toes up. Point. Keep it tracking straight. Flex. Point. Flex. Keep the toes up. Down. Point. Flex. Always with the toes up. out of that position that you've held them in and reach the toes and remember when you point the toes you don't curl them you reach them so it works the soleus muscle more better better gives a better dent a dent I could do with a bit more dent there some people have got great calf muscles I used to have really good calf muscles they're kind of somewhat withered with age one of them I snapped my Achilles tendon that's why Never get, never ever comes back just the way it was when you do that. Anyway, that happens, doesn't it? And you know, that should not have happened. I was put in a situation where that happened and I did say, shouldn't we warm up? And they said, no, 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 you don't need to. They got me doing this exercise. I won't go on about it. It happened. So now we're going to do, we'll look at the next one is, oh. This is called wigs. What did we do with this? We could do a head movement, couldn't we? Because it's wigs. Yeah, let's do a head movement. Now for this one, we'll use our scapulae stabilization, which we need to use anyway. And you know, just to, I'll go over that just so we can do a recap. And by the way, I did an ebook. Like with my headache, when I shouldn't have been doing it, I was sitting in bed, I finished the ebook, and I go over this in that. So if anybody wants it, I'm gonna shoot it out. It's free, I'll give it to you all for free. So, I just need to um, put the thing on it so that I can send it to people. <laughs> and my IT skills aren't brilliant, so somebody's helping me with that. So, now just draw the scapulae down. And now we're going to lift the arms up, keep, keep the shoulders nice and relaxed and open, falling apart, nice and open, draw the scapulae down. Now, feel the lightness in your arms, really feel the lightness, because this, this movement of drawing the scapulae down is going to help the mobility of your head and neck. And my as I've said before, my neck is not good. It hasn't been since I was about 30. And it probably didn't help that I fell from the monkey bars upside down. <laughs> I've done a few things like that. So my neck's not great, but this really helps it. You know, you can still have a very good range of motion if you achieve this scapulae stabilization because it just frees up this whole area. Okay. So, 
keeping your arms nice and light. Keep the tension out of your shoulders. Have them falling apart. Feel gravity. Gravity. Just allowing them to come down. Now imagine your back is like you're a painting. You're a Monet. And there's two globs of paint falling down the painting. Sorry, Monet. But they're dripping down. And they're your wing bones dripping down the canvas. Feeling the gravity, having to go there because of gravity. That's the feeling I want you to achieve. But when you do it, just make sure your belly button's moving to your spine. And when you do that, you'll feel it all kind of just collect. You might even feel, you might even have a sense that, yeah, I can feel the little muscles closest to my bones at the spine just activating, going, yep, yep, we're holding you, we've got you. So that's actually what's happening. So that's what we're going to do when we do our head movement. So we might just look like we're just doing la di da da but actually we're doing all of the rest. We might even lift the arms up with it as well. So uh, just follow me. I'll just I'll play wigs again because it was kind of whimsical. Scapulae down. You are a Monet. You are a painting. Shoulders falling apart. Feel the freedom in the neck. Feel your weight moving forward and up. Now just simply turn your head to the right. Look down. Feel the stretch on the back of the neck. Look up. Come to centre. drawing down as you do this and feel the tension, no tension in the shoulders. Look down. Again. Draw those scapulae down, belly button to spine. Drop that head. Now we're going to come up. Place one hand, hand here, press into that hand, press into the hand with your head. Are you feeling it? Really activates your back, doesn't it? Drop the chin, feel that stretch. into it. Don't know which way around I did it before. Press into it. And one more to finish. And now just drop your head down but keep your head, your neck nice and long and come up. And now when you go back, keep your neck long so you don't collapse it. So it's like you can just turn your head keeping your neck lifted. It's different, isn't it? Once more. And when you do that this time, we'll do it once more. Make sure you're really drawing your scapulae down and you're lifted and you're not collapsing and forgetting about your body as you do this. See, I was watching. Okay, lift up, scapulae down, belly button to spine and Now slide the head back and make sure you can feel the back of the neck muscles activate. Oh good, that clock's still going. That's right, isn't it? 25 to 2. Oh my goodness, all right, I thought I had another 20 minutes. No, I don't. All right, let's play the next piece so I can hear what we're going to do next. And I've got a feeling this one, myositis. What does that mean? Myomuscle. Musculitis? <laughs> Sounds like a carnival. All right, we might do some sways. Sounds like that, doesn't it? Sway with the legs. Sway. Sway. Just have the knee facing the front. Scapulae down. Scapulae down. Scapulae. Get ready to turn the head with the arm. Don't act. 
much like I just did. Just so you're just going a bit past centre. Drop the thigh, stretch it out, but don't fully stretch the knee, just be stretching here. Other side, drop the knee. see next. I've got a feeling we might be doing something spirally now. Acoustic Symphony. Well, sounds a bit like Devil Pay. What do you reckon? All you girls know about that, don't you? Don't you? I know you do. <laughs> Let's do a Devil Pay. down, up, hold it there, ah. oh. can you feel that in your back? I can feel that in my mid back from having to pull up, oh. okay, we haven't done any plies which I don't mind doing because you know we're not standing in this class are we so it's a good idea if we can put some in Let's see what heavenly's like. Oh, yes, it sounds like plies, little ones, Jimmy plies, little bins. Okay, let's just do our Alexander technique to stand up first. Might even put a little bit of arms with this seeing as nobody here is a beginner and if there are any beginners watching that's okay you can just go for it or just do what you can so we've got our feet not too far out because it's too difficult to stand up in our, using Alexander technique if they're too far out because then you know you've got to come forward too far and you probably fall over so bring your feet in there's a bit of bark a wood fire okay so Sitting up nice and tall, allow the neck to be free, allow the weight to go forward and up. Sitting on your sit bones, feel where they are, just roll onto them. 
allow the back to lengthen, allow the back to widen. That includes the front of the chest and the back of the chest. Allow the fold shoulders to fall apart. Allow the hips to release. Feel the gravity of that without tucking under. Just allow that to unfold. Allow the shoulders to fall apart. And now, from that beautiful belly button to spine, I forgot. Now, from that beautifully neutral spine that you've now achieved, just maintain that while you hinge at the hips, let your bottom come out, hello, and then come up, and then first position. Use the head now. Use your scapular stabilization as you're doing this. My knees are creaking. <laughs> and all you're doing is you're rota rotating here. You're not changing your pelvic position. You're not doing this. You've you're got your neutral spine. And all that happens is the, the knees bend very naturally. But they're moving in an outward direction over your toes, which are not turned out. And then we'll go bend a bit further to get down to your chair. And then you've done it. You've done your demi plies. Piece of cake. Well done. All right. Now I want to do, I, we didn't do any spirals, hit heart strings. Oh. Deep heart strings. Not high heart strings, deep ones. Innermost heart strings. All right. So we're going to just get these hips moving. Oh, I've got to do a bit of this spiraling because I love this thing that we did. Ornella, you were there when we did this one the first time. Love it. It just sort of happened. So let's just do it. We're going to go towards towards the knee that's coming forward. So that's the hip that's coming back. So just feel that. Now change it over. So you're going to go towards the hip that's coming forward with the knee that's coming forward. Got that? And then the hip that's coming forward with the knee that's just going forward. You're twisting towards it. Twist towards it. Now put a bit of style into it. Because this is called heart strength. first. Go to the 
Okay, now just to finish, I'm going to see what this one is first. Oh no, I can't use that one. Actually, do something to this for the knees. This is a good one for the knees. Now you're just going to move them a minuscule amount. So take your leg out. And we're just going to we're just going to bend it slightly parallel and stretch it. Just off the ground. You're bending it this much. You'll feel it after a while, though. Keep going. Bend, stretch. Parallel lift up. Add the leg. Bend, stretch. So that you're doing the hip extensors. So you're stretch, actually stretching 
the hip extensors, aren't you? Are you? Yep. You're stretching out the hip flexors. So you're doing, using your hip extensors. Something like that. I can confuse myself, can't I? All right, now we're going to just finish up. We're really going to finish up now with a little back movement to activate the upper back area. And that will be it. Spanish dance. I wonder how this would go. Depends if you know a bit Spanish or not. that you were here thank you for that now as I said at the beginning of this video I'm not going to do classes on the weekend anymore because I'm going to give myself a break to do other things <laughs> so there's plenty of classes for you to do if you want to do one the weekend but I'll be back on Monday so I'll see you in a couple of days time and thank you for being here and see you soon